Hey, what is up guys, Sam here, and today we're going to be talking about API calls. This series is brought to you by Salad. Salad is a cryptocurrency miner that lets you easily earn money when you're not using your computer. Salad is partnered with Discord and all of Salad's code is open source. You can use Salad to redeem rewards like Discord Nitro, Amazon gift cards, and so much more. Redeeming rewards with Salad is easy. Just head to the store front page, find that one special item you've been saving up for, and click buy now. Now Salad have given us a special code just for our audience to use. If you use code TDE, you will earn two times the earnings on your Salad account and get that gift card before anyone else. Check out Salad today at the link below. So we're going to demonstrate API calls through a meme command today to make it more fun than just trying to explain what an API call is. But in basic terms, it's literally just our bot sending a request to a server and getting a response. So today we're going to be using a meme command. We're going to be getting memes from Reddit and then sending it in the chat to a user. So to begin, we're just going to make the meme.js in the commands folder, copy and paste over the code, change this to meme, and then remove this from in here. So the first thing you're going to do is actually import the library we're going to use for fetching. So we're going to be using node fetch. So we're going to do const fetch equals require node fetch. And we're actually going to go down here and do npm i node fetch, which will just npm install node fetch. There we go. And once that's installed, you'll be able to then use it in the code. We're also going to want to bring in Discord, because Discord equals required Discord.js, just so we can make an embedded message to put the meme in to make it uh, nice and just sending a link in the chat. So to begin, let's actually define a link to fetch to. So I'm going to use the dank memes subreddit. So I'm just going to grab the link for that. So the link formatting for getting from Reddit is basically the subreddit's link dot json question mark and we're going to sort it by top posts this week i'll put this in the uh, description so you can copy it and literally just need to change the subreddit here to the one you want to use then we're going to, need to actually make the request to that uh api so we're going to do let fe uh, let's fetch memes equal await which is basically as i talked about before we're using async to make the code pause so await basically is used in conjunction with this to make it now wait to get the memes back from the API before continuing. So we're going to do await fetch link. So now we're fetching the memes from this link. And actually what we should do as well here is add a dot then. So basically this just means once it's gotten the memes, we're going to want to m.json. We're going to want to put them into JSON format. Basically this just means that it will be easier for us to go through and pick a random meme to use. So to run through this again, basically await and async. Async is needed for await. This basically makes the code pause here. Wait for this to come back. And once this does come back, it will turn it into a JSON, meaning that the bot can read it easier. So fetch memes will now be a list of all the memes. So I'll show you here actually now. We console.log fetch memes. And then we restart the bot and run it. So if we head over to Discord and we run exclamation mark meme, we give it a second to get from the API we will see basically an object down here and we can see the children part of this object. So the object's data.children. We can see there's a lot of memes going to be put in here. The object is basically something, it's not going to render them because it's so far in that we haven't specified we need to see these. So if we want to see the memes it's actually found, we can do fetch memes.data, which is the heading for this one, and dot .children. So if we restart and run that again, and we go back and do meme, we will now see in a second a list of all the memes it's found. So we can see for each meme, we basically have the subreddit, the author's name, the title of the meme. We also have the subreddit was from, the flare text, the thumbnail, uh, the URL. We have uh, everything basically that we're going to need to put it inside of an embed. This is the key one we need here. So if we click into this, you'll see it's literally just an image of the meme that it fetched. So we want to take this massive set of data and just filter it down to just one random one and then send that in an embed to the user. So let's first start by turn, just literally getting this children object just in a variable. So const get memes equal fetch memes dot data dot children. So now we just basically have all those memes we just saw there inside this get memes. Let random meme equal so this is just an array basically of memes so you want to get a random one so we're going to use what we normally use to get from an array so get memes square brackets similar as we use back in here to get the first element of an array except this time we're going to want a random element since we want a random meme 
So we're going to have to use a random number, basically. So math.floor basically means to round down for whatever number it hits. Math.random. And we put start, we put multiplied by, and then get memes.length. So basically, this means get memes, and it wants to find a meme in the position of the array where it's a random number between 0 and the length of get memes. So this should now give us one single random meme. And now let's just turn this into an embed. Since we've imported Discord up here already, we can just do that meme embed equal new discord dot message embed. That's set title. And let's use uh, random meme dot data dot title. And now we'll set the image dot set image random meme dot data dot URL as you saw a minute ago. Let's just give it a red color to make it not just be default uh, message dot channel dot send me embed. So now if we restart the bot again, terminal disappeared here, and we head on over to Discord and we run exclamation mark meme, we can now see our random meme has popped up. So we've managed to, in this video, make a call to the Reddit API get a response back, turn it into a readable format, get all of the memes in an array, then take a random element of the array, put it into an embed, and then send that embed back to the user. So obviously this unlocks a lot of usages there is, if we look it up here, uh, free APIs. There is a lot of APIs you could use and there's even more than is listed here. There's, there's literally pages and pages and pages of different APIs. So yeah guys, that was a bit of a shorter video than normal, but I hope it all made sense and I hope you can use this in many ways in your bot since API calls are extremely powerful. There's a lot of different APIs and a lot of different free APIs and by the fact that you can do this now, you can add so many more features to your bot than you could before. As normal, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments or head on to our Discord server and ask us there. And other than that, that's pretty much all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.